So having uh, seen the uh, first chapter, that is introduction about uh, artificial intelligence, uh, let me discuss about the next chapter about intelligent agents. For which, first of all, you should know what is an agent. I already told in the introduction section, uh, agent is the one uh, which is uh, uh, treated or which is uh, behaved in an environment like a broker. That is, uh, you always say that the word agent refers to something uh, agency which is uh, helpful for your uh, benefits. Likewise, uh, this uh, topic, the agent is the one uh, which is uh, treated as a module or which is treated as a hardware or which is treated as a software, whatever it may be, whose duty is to accept certain inputs and respond to the inputs accordingly. Simply speaking, uh, uh, when you uh, give any input in the form of, uh, what, what, what can I say, uh, say for example, uh, you are seeing something, uh, maybe a movie or maybe a song, uh, uh, what is your response after watching the uh, movie, maybe a comedy portion of the movie or a song, uh, you, be, you feel like uh, something, uh, you, you, you give out an emotion like uh, uh, love, or you give out an emotion like cry, or you give out an emotion like applause, like that, right? So, what is the thing is, uh, you are also treated as an agent, but you are treated as a living agent. Uh, and the sensory organs that is built within you, the sensory organs that is built within you, are highly responsible for receiving the inputs. And uh, the, by, by the way of laugh, or by the way of applause, or the way of emotion, these are, they are all called to be the... Uh, what is that uh, uh, response uh, reacting to that uh, particular situation? So when you dealt with the uh, agent and its uh, associated environments, the same thing is workable here. So what I'm uh, uh, what I told uh, just now is the uh, agent uh, that is a living agent that's a human uh, or Homo sapien. But here, what we are going to think about is uh, something like uh, sensors and actuators. Of course, nowadays you call this term as IoT, Internet of Things. Uh, because uh, you have a you have a internet and the internet uh, is uh, connected the uh, device with the uh, outside world. That's why we told that internet of things. But in this era, that is in this era means that era that is past era. Uh, during this kind of AI was uh, very popular. This kind of AI, not uh, the present AI. This kind of AI is very popular. The thing. Thing thing is the one which is a hardware that is having sensor and actuator. If that hardware is uh, connected to the outside world via internet, then you may say them as the internet of things. But here what it is, uh, you have a circuit or you have a software and that software is acting as a sensor, uh, a soft, uh, software or hardware will have a module uh, which senses the uh, outside uh, environment, outside environment and reacts and respond to the environment. So a human agent has, so you, I already told that here, if you watch that, a human agent has, if you, if you could see that, a human agent has ears and organ sensors like that. Uh, when, you, when you are going to design a agent for your benefit of purpose, say for example, here, if you could see that, a robotic agent. Say for example, you are creating a robot and the robot should behave like a human. So what are the things that are attached to the robot in order to uh, find out the external uh, environment? You should have ca cameras, you should have some sensors, it should have some signals, it should have some uh, something attached with that uh, so the sense about the uh, nearby uh, people or nearby object, anything. But what it will respond, it will respond to that particular environment via actuator. So the actuators are controlled by motors, motors that you know uh, very well when you are uh, talking with uh, recent IoT applications. So previously this kind of thing also there, but it, there is no internet. There is no internet. So if you could, if you could see that block diagram, uh, it is uh, very well uh, illustrating that. See, this block is treated as agent. Why it is treated as a agent? Because uh, it has the capacity of receiving some, something via sensors. Uh, processing something that is the uh, is mentioned as a question mark, and then uh, it is the thing that is uh, uh, to be given a response. 
so what is the uh, thing that is required that is the environment say for example if you are going to do a project which is uh, going to do uh, automatic garbage collection or automated so what is that the system is completely an automated one so how it is automated one so this is the device so this is the device you could imagine that this is a device and this device has been configured with some kind of hardware uh, treated like uh, sensors and actuators and they are attached to the environments they are attached to the environment and that environment uh, would start be sensing the uh, information uh, giving out persons the uh, giving you give out those information say for example you have a humidity sensor you have temperature sensor you have like that so many things so those sensors are responsible for that particular uh, activity uh, so from the environment means uh, the situation or the happenings around you so those things will be sensed by the sensors and the agent will process that uh, sensed information and out of uh, based on the processed information the actuator will give out the response it may be an action so again the response will go back to the environment so it is the one that is getting benefit from the agent so environment needs a certain action to be taken but that action can be performed by human only in case if you want something to be behaved as a human being in that particular situation means then what do you need to go for is you got to go for a artificial agent and that artificial agent should behave intelligently like a human being so for that what you need to do is you need to have a hardware setup by means of sensors and actuators sensors are the one which receives the signal and actuators are the one which gives response based on the uh, information processed by the uh, processing agent as a processing block available in the agent so that is what the intelligent agent uh, is all about and this intelligent agent is uh, have been uh, controlled by some agent program that you have to return and that agent program will process the information will go out so they are explain the idea very well with a kind of program with a kind of an application say for example see uh, here you, they have started see the theory and all you can uh, go through the book uh, you read the text one by one you can understand but anyhow i will summarize what they have told here in these two paragraphs and everything so what is the thing is so imagine that imagine that see imagine this device as a vacuum cleaner vacuum cleaner and these are all the uh, dust these are the dust so what is the percept sequence what is the percept sequence a b so a is the one which is going to clean a is the one which is going to clean and a uh, which is uh, needed to clean will be uh, uh, cleaning that environment if it found dirty dirty so right? so b is the one which is need to clean and b is, it means dirty so what is the thing that is happened uh, here is uh, see what is the action uh, if it is clean if it is clean the action should be right uh, so that means right means the action the, the the portion this portion this portion this portion should move right because it is available in their right side so the, here that vacuum cleaner is there the dust is or the dirt is uh, left uh, right side of the vacuum cleaner so what action you are going to give uh, if you are giving instruction uh, to the a as a clean so you have to turn that as a right side so then what you have to do then you have to if you if that if dirt cleaners is available near a then what you have to what action you have to give suck likewise if b you, when when you go for b so so you imagine this is a two dimension so this b is available that side that's it so you so clean means so b you have to move so like that you have to create this kind of percept uh, sequence and action uh, tabulation for a agent to work out uh, so the uh, vacuum cleaner uh, air conditioner refrigerator all are uh, intelligent devices all are intelligent all are agent based intelligent devices remember here there is no internet if you connect this with the internet and if you are collecting the data and the collected data are stored in the cloud then uh, you may have a processing like uh, uh, what is that edge computing or fog computing or uh, edge analytics like that for uh, processing the data but those kind of stuff is not here so what is the stuff here is here they are not bothering about the data collection there is no need for data collection only thing uh, before implementing the device or before implementing the agent into the mission before getting into the mission you should analyze the environment you should understand the environment and what are all the data that can be generated from the environment accordingly what are all the sensor that we need to produce and uh, what are the actuators we need to provide so those things you have to keep in mind that and accordingly you have to design the device so the designed device will act according to the instruction that is uh, given so these are all the instruction or sequence 
are uh, cleanly speaking perceptive sequence clean dirty clean dirty clean 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 like that these are all the perceptive sequence and these are all the actions uh, right suck so whatever the thing they need to so accordingly it will work accordingly so if you if you give an action so what is the language here your major question arises uh, what is the language that i can give for controlling this machine so there are many uh, symbolic machine uh, reasoning languages are available that's what we are going to study in the higher units in the second and third unit we will be studying those kind of stuff of course they are not uh, work uh, they are not in uh, usable uh, one in right now because majority of the world are now diverted to python and uh, other kind of stuff uh, based on the iot so that's why i told that uh, here in this book even though it is treated as artificial intelligence a modern approach so it is not a modern approach it is something in the middle aged approach only middle aged approach only see whenever you go go through any industrial visits like any uh, power plants or any uh, dams there you can find many devices and that many devices uh, and in that among those many devices there are certain devices with that cannot be human operable so the human cannot go there and operate being a boiler or being a um, dam or so on so for that uh, particular situation what they have created is this agent based intelligent device they have created that is something has been sit there inside the device and that device will consume the outside environment information and that outside information based on the information consumed that is the based on the perceptive sequence received uh, from the environment to the device it will give out the action so whatever the action it will give out it will say so these are the thing these are the thing like that it will it will give out so that is the idea that we have to so what is mean by good behavior so whenever uh, whenever you need to think about an agent you should think about the agent that is doing the thing rightly so this is very well understood uh, with the concept called uh, you, uh, like that you watched the movie uh, endran so that uh, robo is a design and that robo will be designed about the, that robo was designed by the scientist in order to do only the right thing in order to do only the right thing. accordingly it was programmed it was only well programmed suppose if that right thing goes wrong or thing goes wrong uh, then what is that major destruction will happen like that uh, the thing that is uh, illustrated in that movie major destruction will happen so whenever you want to create an agent like this so you should always be an ethical one you should always be ethical one and you should uh, always uh, think about uh, uh, every entry in the table say for example see every entry in the table for the agent function is filled out correctly so you should think about you should think about if any one entry is wrong then the entire system may either collapse or some more function will happen maybe it will lead to a destruction also so you should think about in that way so that is the idea of rationality or the concept of rationality should come into picture so what is meant by rational agent if you speak about a gentle agent it is the one that sits like uh, sits between the environment and the man and uh, whatever the man is expecting from the environment those things will be carried out individually by the agent Auto or not individually auto or automatically by the agent accordingly we have designed it accordingly so likewise what is reason it will always do only the right thing so, so doing the right thing is better than doing the wrong thing but what does it mean to do the right thing so what is mean by right thing so that you should decide this is so for what purpose you are designing the device and that uh, thing is ca capable enough or not I all the environment uh, the data generated about the environment finally you should have a system which uh, evaluate the performance and the union uh, performance measure likewise uh, you are having some uh, pos quality of service uh, uh, parameters available for a computer network so you have some performance measure and you should use those performance measure in order to evaluate the system after evaluating the system only then you can make that uh, idea of uh, so this, this is something something like a testing so whenever you create a software that software should go into testing right alpha testing beta testing after that you need to go for a deployment of the device so likewise there are certain performance measures available using those performance measure you need to evaluate the system you need to evaluate the system and according to the evaluation say for example here you see say, say for example a vacuum cleaner agent okay so that is that we have discussed in the previous section so what you have to evaluate that uh, vacuum cleaner by means of uh, the performance what the means of the performance measure see um uh, we might uh, propose to measure the performance by amount of dirt see you may test the device 
so how you may increase the amount of dirt or you may decrease the amount of dirt you can uh, give out different kinds of dirt uh, dirt with uh, only powder form dirt with only solid form dirt with water form like that you can give different kind of forms of dirt and for all kinds of dirt how your uh, agent is working uh, whether it is working good or whether it is working up to the expectation uh, if not it is uh, not working so how it, it is uh, made to make, maximize their performance maximize their performance then dumping it on the floor right so you need to think about it whenever a uh, working principle is there so you need to give some reward some reward points some credit points so that it will be uh, create, it will be working in the positive spirit and it will do the work sincerely and according to the uh, command given so what is the general rule so i say general rule it is better it is, it is better to design performance measure according to what one actually wants from the environment wants in the environment so what is the environment that, so you need to study say for example uh, let me take a refrigerator example based on the outside temperature the sorry, sorry, not refrigerator the air conditioner ac based on the outside temperature the ac will uh, turn uh, either increase tune tune their uh, temperature uh, range uh, between one lower limit to one upper limit so just you have to set the range but uh, when it is not having any intelligent device what you have to do according to the situation say if it is overheat then you need to increase the device uh, by through your remote or if it is already cold then you have to decrease through your remote but what else if you have a automatic uh, self adjustable self adjustable uh, uh, air conditioner likewise uh, you go for a washing machine so in the washing machine you are putting the cloths and you are uh, setting one kind of uh, washing thing and then you treat you go for washing so like way without that without that simply you should put the cloth simply you put the cloth and there should be some sensors available inside the washing machine and it will sense the cloth, cloth of the uh, uh, shirt or uh, material cloth type amount of dirt uh, likewise if we, if it is accordingly it will decide the so this my kind of shirt will need this much amount of uh, agitation this much amount of rinsing and this much amount of powder or this much amount of uh, what is that thing so then we can go for the so so whenever you design such a system so i hope you understand what i am telling whenever you design so just a system which is meant for understanding the environment and uh, working according to that uh, situation then you may treat that system as an expert system so because it is doing good and it is doing the better uh, in a right way so whenever you talk about uh, rationality it should depend on four things that's the idea so one is the performance criteria that means uh, uh, whenever you evaluate the performance so that, that it means that you need to go for a uh, towards a success and the agent's prior knowledge because agent should be loaded with some prior knowledge so because without the prior knowledge the agent will not work out. so that's why you need a knowledge base knowledge base about the environment how the environment should be uh, how the environment is uh, how that uh, environment uh, changes over the period of time and how to sense everything that is to be made as a knowledge and that knowledge should be fed to the agent without any knowledge the agent will not work out. and uh, based on the age uh, based on the knowledge given you should also uh, trigger what kind of action that the agent can perform and uh, the agent's uh, table sequence table that is special sequence table should be up to date up to date so you need to keep on increasing because you know you know you don't know any new environment changes may occur in a day or in a week or in a month so it may happen in a year or in a two two in a two years once like that it may happen so you need to keep on uh, making the table to understand the sequence up to date then only you may go for uh, uh, the wonderful uh, uh, system which is uh, rational and which is uh, working as a, a very good uh, system again they have illustrated the uh, vacuum cleaner agent only for cleaning cleaning this uh, for which they have explained the uh, in the figure 2.3 let me go to that figure yes see whatever the thing is is the agent type medical diagnostic system what are the performance measure what is the environment and what are the actuators needed and what are the sensors needed so what is the so for for example satellite image so satellite image so what is the performance measure uh, how far the image analysis and image characteristics has been carried out currently so what is the environment it is the environment that is uh, from the satellite that is a down lake what are the thing actually to see display scene of that so you have to display the scene so when the image is coming so based on that you need to give what kind of image it is whether the image contains water or whether the image is a sand whether the image is a rock like that so what is the sensors will do the sensors will just 
senses the pixel present in the image. So that's the uh, different kind of application that are available. So you can go through this, uh, you can find a variety of applications of ASNZ uh, type. Uh, so what does that uh, mean fully observable and partially observable? And the single agent multiple. So there are many things. So, you, so what is fully observable? So by the meaning itself. So whenever you, I, I just told that you need to keep that uh, sequence table up to date. So that means you need to observe uh, completely. Uh, so what is the fully observed means? You need to observe from the beginning up to the end. There are certain uh, machines uh, when you uh, go and buy for your purpose, they will give lifetime guarantee. So that means uh, all through that life, if it faces any difficulty, then it will be paid or then the service is free for them. What is partially observable then it is for a period of time. The warranty is for two years or warranty is for three years like that. So what is partially observable? So with the partial information itself, that thing will be gone. So there are other things that is uh, treated as unobservable. So there are certain things that you need not make the environment as unobservable. So what is the distinction between single agent and multiple agent? By the name itself, we can clearly say the single agent is only one agent is uh, tied up with the environment. Otherwise, uh, that is sufficient for that kind of situation. But there are some situation you need uh, more. Uh, say for example, uh, crossword person. Say you you are uh, doing uh, some kind of uh, program. Sorry, some kind of uh, game in the computer uh, or in any mobile in which you are playing uh, something and. Uh, the machine is playing something. I re keep remember that crossword puzzle. You should put round the means the machine will put cross. And again, you will put round means the machine will put cross. So one in the diagonal will once uh, if the one three crosses are in the diagonal, then you will be so likewise. If for this a single agent is sufficient, but for the vacuum cleaner like that of environment, what I'm telling the boiler and for some industrial applications and for organization, you need not uh, expect a single agent to observe only one thing. You need to have many agents. So that means many actuators and many sensors are available that will watch many things in many angles. According to the data collected, collectively it will perform for the thing. The best example is a driverless car. Driverless car. So if you want to uh, device, uh, if you want to uh, create a driverless car, so the driverless car should have many agent in it. One agent should view the road. One agent should view the signal. Another agent should view the left side, right side. So like that, so many things is required. So many things is required. So that is called a multi agent. Another thing is a competitive multi agent. So, what is uh, two kind of environment competitive as well as uh, cooperative? Whenever you talk about competitive, uh, so competitive is one which always uh, tries to make the uh, performance measure in a maximum possible way. So, it won't bother about the uh, neighboring agent, uh, neighboring uh, entity. But uh, where, whatever may be happened, whether it is collapse or whether it is collision, it will always look for the competition. So I, that should be no into the picture. What do you mean cooperative by me? The means of the word itself, it's a cooperation. So cooperation, it will always look for a kind of environment that will cooperatively, that will jointly work together in order to maximize the performance. So conclude from that is you need to have only one agent or uh, you need to have more than one agent and they will work individually or they will go and otherwise you may have some randomized behavior uh, that will always disturb the system either uh, in, in the form of a pitfall or predictability so what is the next point you need to remember these are the key points uh, deterministic stochastic uncertain so they you may find uh, in some important uh, questions so what is uh, episodic and what is sequential so those are the, some important keywords that you should re remember. I will conclude it in another two minutes. Uh, what is a deterministic in general is, see, say for example, uh, you, it is uh, it is pre-programmed. So in simpler way, I can say that it is pre-programmed. That is, it is determined to do that work only. It is determined to do that work only. So you pre-programmed the one that is, uh, you, first if you did this one, then you should do this one. Then you should do this one. Like that, it is always a determined, determined the idea as well as the task. Always. What is the stochastic? So you may not uh, clear about what may occur. Uh, what may occur. So the environment may be a dynamic environment or the environment may be a totally uncertain environment. You are not sure about it. So according to that behavior of the environment, you need to change the nature of the agent. The agent should be uh, flexible enough and, and, and the agent will be uh, totally uh, adjustable and uh, what, is, what can I say, uh, flexible enough in order to carry out and in order to execute the job. Because the environment may be a non-deterministic environment. You cannot predict the environment. It may be a non-predictable environment, right? So these are some keywords. 
uh, you need to remember about those uh, things. So with this, uh, you may find many things, static versus dynamic, discrete, continuous, known, unknown. So this is very easy. Yet. You can read it and you can understand the fact to begin this. Uh, with this, I will uh, close the today's uh, topic. Um, let me uh, come with uh, another new topic in the next class.